Todas las misiones a la Luna se dirigieron desde el centro de control de Houston. El mítico Mission Control, que resolvió el problema del Apolo 13, ya no se utiliza. Se puede visitar, aunque ahora está siendo restaurado de cara al aniversario del Apolo 11. Este es el nuevo centro de control. My name is Holly Ridings. I'm the Chief Flight Director at NASA here at the Johnson Space Center. And just over to my left is Mission Control, where we take care of the International Space Station uh, 24 hours a day, uh, seven days a week, 365 days a year. So there are always people in this room, and their primary responsibility is the safety of the crew members on board the International Space Station 250 miles above us. Uh, on a daily basis, uh, we execute the mission. And so what does that mean? Each of our crew members um, has activities that they do on board the space station. Um, exciting things like science, they do a lot of um, health research. Uh, we also, of course, have to keep the station itself. You know, if you think about it, you ask me how different uh, sort of the Apollo mission control is compared to our mission control today. Um, you know, first of all, you think about the similarities, right? One of the great uh, strengths of human spaceflight is the history and the tradition that NASA has brought, you know, through many years of how we take responsibility for the crew members. It's one of those things that's going to get us to the moon. Um, and so we have a lot of similarities in terms of the expectations we have for the people. Even some of the, the console names are similar. But obviously, technology has advanced quite a bit since uh, we flew Apollo. It's a, it's a tremendous responsibility, right? So. Um, being responsible for the safety of the astronauts is something that we um, take incredibly seriously. We have a tremendous amount of pride in our ability to take care of them and help them uh, get home safely to their families. And so fundamentally working here is about loving to solve problems, complex problems of of any kind. And so some days that's saving the crew on orbit when something's going on on the space station. And some days it's, it's things that are simpler. Of course it is. You know, you can't fail the crew members on board the space station. You need to keep them safe and you can't fail the crew members in any of the other missions as well. And so, yes, absolutely, failure's not an option. <laughs>